The nerve center of MNA Disaster Response is the MNA Disaster Response Warehouse here in Rome, Georgia. Here we have 15,000 square feet under roof uh, for a warehouse area, and we also have three and a half acres uh, where we can park larger equipment as well. We also supply two depots, uh, one in Dallas, Texas, one in Virginia, so that they will have supplies pre-positioned closer in those areas and we're able to be more efficient in how we send supplies out. We're set up to respond to tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, wildfires, and more recently, we saw a need to respond to the COVID pandemic. So when a community is affected and a church wants to respond and help their neighbors, we go out and help them to do an assessment and we send them uh, any of the supplies that they need. We can even provide them with bunk houses for volunteers to sleep in, showers for volunteers. We can provide them with tools. We can provide them with all kinds of equipment, even skid steer loaders. But we also provide them with technical support all along so that they're not left doing it themselves. We're always there to help them to reach out to their neighbors. When you come in the front of the warehouse, you find the training center, and we have three training areas. When you get back into the warehouse here, you have stacks and stacks of flood buckets, hygiene kits, construction materials, basically anything that you might need in the aftermath of a disaster. We have a tool room where we have chainsaws, generators, pressure washers, water pumps, anything like that that you may need. This warehouse facility is always a work in progress. There's always the next project and the next project and the next project. So it's an opportunity for people with any type of skill set, any age, any physical ability or disability to come in and to be part of a ministry where you can make a difference. People will ask, how can we get involved? How can our church get involved in disaster response work? And our mantra is always pray, give, and go. First of all, definitely pray for the ministry. Pray for the work that's being done here at the warehouse and out in the field. Another way you can help is to give. Uh, everything you see in this warehouse has been donated or has been purchased with donated funds. So whether it's a one-time donation or an ongoing donation, all that money that's given supports the work of the warehouse, which allows us to respond very quickly. The third way you can help is to go. And when we say go related to the warehouse, that means come here. We've had anywhere from probably three-year-old kids to 90-year-old women come to the warehouse and work and do something that's beneficial for people. People need to know that uh, this ministry here is totally funded by the churches and by individuals that are supporting this ministry, uh, M&A and the disaster relief in particular. It's very important that we have those resources and people know that you know, everything, everything they contribute is going to help someone in some area. Serving with m and at the Disaster Relief Warehouse has been a really great way for us to come together um, and serve together. And I think not only is that physically being the hands and feet of Christ for people in our community who are suffering, but it also draws us closer together um, as a couple. And so it's been really neat to be able to plug into this ministry work. So if I can leave you with one thing, this is a ministry of mercy that leads to ministry of the word. Yes, we do a lot of work with our hands, but we also have opportunity to get to know people, to form relationships, and then to have heart conversations with them. And that's why we do what we do.